usually the cream rises to the top and you'll find a really entertaining person at the top spot. But go ahead and click that second stream and you're going to be really disappointed. Anyway, going into the next match, we got my one of my favorite players. I was talking about this before. Choco Taco. He always sits down next to me during my matches and gives me a little bit of a pep talk, lets me know what I'm doing wrong. And uh, he, he's really knowledgeable because he'll point out things to me that I had never even thought about in certain situations that really could help me close out the set. Shadows also roasted him with that uh with that black Lucas. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh, Zurak earlier called him uh, Choco Taco. So we, we well, so we were kid we were joking around saying how Shadows has to put like chocobo wings on it now. Yeah, you have to. Oh man. I was actually playing Final Fantasy IX last night on my phone. The remake's Ooh. pretty good, guys, if, you, if you're if you interested in buying it. All right. Now, this match is actually pretty even right now. Yeah, Does, extremely even. I don't think he can absorb anything from Bayonetta. I don't think... Can you absorb the bullets? Nah, he can't. The, the, okay. What he's going for is the explosion off of the down B. He can combo into a lot off of that. Okay. I actually didn't know how much he could get off of it until earlier when we were playing. And there we go. Him throwing PK Freeze out again. It's honestly, all right, so it looks like that's a really bad option, right? I was playing against him earlier. The one time I got hit by it, he closed it out into a kill. And I don't know, if, if it's that type of risk or reward thing where if you do hit it, you're going to kill him, then I support using it, but... It, it doesn't really hit all the yeah, time. Yeah, it really doesn't. And but he's using it from so far away that there's really no that's chance true. of... That's true, and also he's conditioning them to delay their recovery. Oh, nice! All right! Confirm from Choco Taco sitting at 91%. You're not closing that out as Bayonetta right now, especially against a player who knows the SDI. SDI right. out of those. Oh. Oh my God. The ground pound on that move is retarded. Goes oh, for the, okay. Forward goes throw. Goes the follow up forward throw. Forward really throw nice. from the platform. Yeah, close it out. That would have. He would have died. 959 subs. Oh, uh, followers. Yeah. Oh, really nice guys. I'm really Just proud of that. Just a few more. Can we do it tonight? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, we got up tilts for uh, to cover his his ground, which is actually interesting. I don't know what the hitbox of that move looks like, but it looks like it has a pretty low one. Going for a lot of spacing out on Bayonetta. Spacing out doesn't particularly work on, like, it doesn't, like, specifically work against Bayonetta. Oh, Ooh, we the jab lock scenario. Jab lock oh, a little bit too high to lock twice. Ah. That was really unfortunate. I wish that he had gone for that, 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 was, that was nice, though. Yeah, it really was. Those are, those are really hard combos to hit, actually. Taco Taco is constantly in the lab with that stuff. Um, What I will say is... Taco Taco has a, does a really good job of spacing people out strictly for the purpose of making them antsy to get in. You know, like if somebody if somebody's actively keeping you out of their space, it makes you want to be in there. And he uses that to his advantage a lot because Lucas actually has some pretty good reversal options being his jab and his grab. And he also has um the reverse, the B reverse down B, which can change his spacing up a bit and trip you up if you're approaching him. Pretty smart. Um, Goes for the kick right there. I like... Ooh. I like this because... A lot of players, when they do the space out game, if you get in their face, they're kind of just like, well, I can't do anything. Yeah. But Chaka Talk is different. Exactly. He actually knows what to do in those situations. Even though he's facing you all, he yeah. wants you to. Oh, 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 oh bless him. <laughs> Blessed, please. Oh. oh, okay. He tried to save you. Should have repented for your sin, sir. Oh. That's disgusting. Oh, that hurt. That is that not a move was... you want to get hit by. You're going on a clip, bro. Oh, Sorry. Boy. <laughs> Someone clip that. Someone clip that. Life is destiny. Clip it. Oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> Screw him. We got our own stream here. We're going on to game two. You know how hard that needle fidget is? It's not hard, but it's like, he's so confident with it. Almost kills with dash attack. Okay, then. Yeah. Anyway. All right, we're going to the next match. Sorry about Go that, ahead, Next match. Approaching with a lot of Zare. I think the thing about Lucas is when he approaches with Zare, it's kind of like a mix-up scenario because he can either go for his jab combo, which will cover you trying to jump out or trying to move towards him or attack him, or he can go for his grab, which will cover those options as well. But the grab can get him a bit, and um, he, although the grab is laggy, it's not as committal as you would think. It's a pretty good tether grab in general. Going for the side B to space him out. See, he's doing a really good job, and Ooh, the shield and pokes him with the, that, I believe. Aww. Can't get a guaranteed follow-up off, of off of that. Yeah, Sad. I think just barely though. Like his head was about to like hit him, yeah. but then she just like. Poof. Oh my God! You could have getting a little ignorant with that up smash follow-up right there. Chaco Taco deciding to opt out of punishing that. A lot of people don't look at that as an option, which is like just not punishing the thing because it just looks so enticing too. Tries to go for the tick throw right there. Unfortunately, unable to do it because you could always mashing the jump out of there. And fortunately, got out. But now he's sitting on a platform. It's a scary situation against Bayonetta. Ooh, the balloon, I believe, saved his life for that. Smash. Cracked him with that Louisville slugger. Jesus Christ. That was disgusting. Nice nair to up, so that doesn't true combo, by the way. You can jump out of that. And I don't think it was comboed in that situation, is what I meant to say. There's a plethora of things I could have said about that, but I can't because we have beast. 
yeah, we have to be easy. But uh, that kind of got my my Jimmy's a little ransacked, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> Russell the Jimmy's. <laughs> Russell the Jimmy's. Ransack my Johnny's. <laughs> Russell the Jimmy's. <laughs> oh, he's approaching with a... He's, see, this is another smart thing about Chocolate Taco. One of the things that used to be a problem with him is that when he had a lead, he would press his advantage hard, and it would bite him in that butt because he couldn't... He couldn't... Um, I almost said A word. It, bite him, it would bite him in the butt because he couldn't readjust back to playing a little bit lame. But now, when he has a lead like this, he's going in with a Zare, he's going in with a side B. A lot of stuff that's low commitment, but tax on damage over time. And all you really have to do at this point is chip out your opponent. Because what you're really resting on is that you get to that next stock, and now you're at a super advantage, and you can close it out. Um, but if you do play this really stale game that uh, Choco Taco is playing right now, you can find a kill confirm at some level. And hopefully that's what Choco Taco finds. It doesn't have to go down to the last stock against Bayonetta, because that's a really scary scenario. Down throw uh, goes for the down air reset. Reading the reading the DI on that pretty well. We're actually gonna have Joe Quarters and Mars on stream next. That's Ooh, gonna be pretty hype, right? That's gonna be nice. Yeah, I can't wait. That's not a match you see often, but it's gonna be a fun one. Definitely. I can see it. Ooh, all right, out there. Oh, Choco okay. Taco, Choco Taco went for the handshake before that connected. I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, no, but ours on our side, it's like two seconds behind. Yeah, but he definitely went for it before because he was still looking at the screen. 